King Nidhi, we just uh, saw those very first formal pictures of the handshake uh, between the two uh, leaders and those talks that to begin any moment now. Well, uh, this is possibly the most significant meeting uh, uh, that the Prime Minister ha will have on this trip. Uh, the, the President uh, is the ultimate authority here in China. And the two leaders are going to spend a significant amount of time together this afternoon. Uh, apart from these restricted level talks, uh, which will uh, go on for an hour or so, they will also then visit the wild goose, uh, the famous wild goose pagoda in Xi'an uh, together. Uh, and then there will be a banquet that President Xi will host for Mr. Modi. Uh, so it is uh, quite an unprecedented level of interaction. The very fact uh, that President Xi chose to welcome Mr. Modi uh, in his hometown, Xi'an, is also being seen as a significant gesture here in Beijing. Uh, because the Chinese government uh, has not done this before. It's a big break from protocol and seen as a reciprocal gesture uh, by the Chinese president for Mr. Modi's invitation to him uh, to visit Gujarat last year. Uh, on the table, a number of contentious issues and also ways that the two leaders hope uh, they can build on the commonalities between the two countries. Uh, we are told by government sources uh, that uh, the trade imbalance is going to be very high, in fact, topmost on the prime minister's agenda. The trade uh, deficit now stands at some $48 billion, and uh, that, is, that uh, actually is, is a jump uh, from, uh, from earlier by more than 30 percent. So uh, that has been a big concern. The trade uh, imbalance, uh, the trade deficit is heavily skewed in, in uh, China's favor. And uh, that is something that uh, Mr. Modi is expected to raise in this meeting. Uh, also, uh, the, the boundary issue, uh, we're not expecting any major breakthroughs on that, but the Prime Minister expected to reiterate India's concerns on stapled visas that continue to be issued by China for residents of Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, the other big contentious issue is uh, that of Chinese investments in POK. Uh, about $46 billion was announced just last month for an economic corridor. That will be raised by the Prime Minister as well. Uh, we're also told uh, that... Uh, uh, the, the, you know, the, the PM will uh, possibly also bring up India's concerns about Ch China's maritime Silk Road project. Uh, it's something that uh, they are, uh, it's a very ambitious project they have by sea uh, and by road as well to connect China to uh, Europe. Uh, and uh, they're looking at various economic corridors to do that. Uh, but the maritime co uh, corridor in particular is one that has concerned India, even though China is keen to have India on board. Uh, there is, uh, uh, you know, so these are some, some of the sort of irritants that they, they, they will be talking about. Uh, but in terms of commonalities, uh, we are told uh, that about uh, deals worth up to $10 billion are expected to be signed in this visit. Uh, some 20 business deals, uh, e-visas for Chinese nationals are likely to be announced with the Prime Minister overruling the concerns of intelligence agencies who who have actually uh, always been red flagging visas, uh, you know, to Chinese uh, uh, citizens and businesses. Uh, so the, that is something that is likely to be announced as well and, uh, you know, about 20 business deals in all. So in the course of today and tomorrow, tomorrow the Prime Minister comes to Beijing. Uh, he will be having his formal talks with the Premier Li Kuqiang uh, and uh, the delegations will meet uh, where all the announcements will be made. So in the course of today and tomorrow, uh, uh, you know, all of these issues are on the table uh, before the Prime Minister then heads to Shanghai uh, where he meets CEOs of both countries and tries to push forward the economic aspect of this relationship.